Oh dear me. <laughs> well, this is about the biggest Pimer only delivery I've ever had. I wasn't expecting the box to be this big, but let's try and do a little bit of a box opening. Oh. Phew, a smaller box within a box. Well, this is why I've really ordered it. I've ordered one of these plasma sticks. These are an RP2040 base device and they have got some extra circuitry on, extra connectors so that you can run strings of individually addressable LEDs on it. So that's what I'm really excited about. Slight apologies for the noise in the background. I've got my resin printer running. All right, so look at that. So it's the very Pico looking, Pico W looking as well, I think. I think that's the uh, Wi-Fi chip. And it's got this extra bit on the side. So I think they've just built this extra uh, plasma stick circuit board underneath, which has got these connections on, got a reset button on, and it's got one of these connectors, which I always call Grove connectors. It's probably not a Grove connector. Yeah, so I love LEDs, as you know, and I love uh, doing things with LEDs. So I bought one of these to try, but what's in the other box? So this is why it was heavy, because in this box is more of these. A massive glass bottle, which um, I was hoping was going to be about that width. But it's a big square glass bottle. And this should also have another one of these in it. So same as that. And some LED strip. Ooh, little sticky things. And a USB micro usb connector so the idea is that you use one of these plasma sticks to address these individually addressable rgb lights and you stick it in the bottle and it makes an interesting display so i'm going to start looking at this i'll probably have to go to the website and look for some instructions so it doesn't look like there's a lot to do to set this up on the screen this is the one for the skull i've not got the skull one i've got the square one it says that the software is already on this although some of the reviews say it wasn't but uh, let's just have a look at that and see what software does let's just flick over to a second for thunny and see if i can connect all right yes so that's the version of that on there it's just a standard pi pico wi-fi version but it's not doing anything else no, no telltales on it if we look back at this then and it just looks like the only thing that we're going to have to do is to connect the the end of the wire to to the pico itself so three cores in there it looks like one has got black dots on it and then the leds are blubbed on quite cool though they feel quite hard it's not definitely not silicon so they're well supported whether this is waterproof i don't know but I suppose that's where you put it in a, a bottle with a cork on the top, isn't it? Here it is. So the 5 volt is the dotted line. So the dotted line goes into the top. Then the middle one is the pixels. And the negative is the bottom one then. All right, so let's set this up quickly. See whether we can get something directly going in it. All right, this isn't nice. It won't pull apart like the old IDC cables used to, so I'll just uh, snip down it with one of these clippers. It feels like, it feels like the plastics from those old awful plastic rain mats, which probably half the people who are watching this won't know what I'm on about, but that's what it feels like. How about see-through umbrellas? That's what it feels like. Take a decent chunk of the insulation off. Then I can fold these over to give the terminal block something to grip on. All right, so make sure I undo these first as much as I can without letting the screws drop out. Then we've got the five volt is the black. So that's that one so i'll turn it over try and get each of these in the correct socket 
That's it, push them a long way in now, so let's tighten those up. Oh, that seems acceptable. There's a few uh, little strands coming out, but I don't think they're touching either of the other connectors. I'm really hoping now, as soon as we connect this, we're going to see some activity on this. So let's connect it and see what happens. And see whether it does do anything out of the box. You'll need a little while to wake up, I imagine. All right, so assuming that's connected, it might not be doing anything, but I don't know whether I need to connect to it on the Wi-Fi somehow and see what to do that. So let's have a look at it. Be sure that the terminal is gripping the metal wire, not the sleeve. We managed that. Five volts is going into the top. Let's just, well, five volts is coming from the top there. Yeah, plus. So that's wired up right. That seems to be all I need to do. Well, I'm not going to stuff this uh, cable into the jar yet. Don't need to stick the Velcro on yet. Running the examples. So the demo we've looked on, it looks for a Wi-Fi connection. If it can't connect to one, it generates some spooky rainbows. OK, so there's no um, there's nothing going on there. I wonder if uh, for some reason I connected in Thunny, it's done something. Let's just stop that. Is it going to do anything? Might be that this Thunny connection is uh, stopping it working. OK, when it's running, it won't show as a stick on your computer. To edit files on it, you'll talk to it through Thunny. Open up Thunny, plug a plasma stick. Oh, and then I'll need to stop it before sending it any instructions. So stop it. We did that, didn't we? So stop. We've got something in there. Let's just clear this so we don't get a... Well, so I don't get confused. So that's connected to it. Editing the files. You can do view files. OK, let's have a look at that. Thunny view you can't see this is this is off the top of my screen but view files oh no this is it let's uh, open main so main dot pi and let's run it and see if that does anything so it says wi-fi connection failed and spooky rainbows hmm. i wonder if i've not got this connected properly now i've just noticed that that bit of the wire is already soldered that might be my problem. So I started from the unsoldered end. I think that's it. Now I know these are only working one direction in a bizarre way. So let's take this out. So a rookie mistake. This is designed for rookies. I have been using the Pico for a while, but I still made the mistake. But that's not surprising because a lot of my Pico stuff is all about making mistakes. So there we go. That's, uh, that's five volts at the top again. So let's just snip in there to give it a bit more space to get it in the connectors again and i'm definitely going to fast forward through these connectors now because uh, i made a meal out of it last time so this should be very quick and very not painful for you here we go okay let's try this one then i'll go straight for the other power supply hey there's your problem all right lovely so that was a lot easier than it should have been or I made it a lot harder than it should have been but I've got this other end of it I suppose it means you could daisy chain more of these together if you wanted whether the pie is capable of giving all that power out is another thing but I'm sure they've worked it out that this plasma stick works for this but just for safety I'm going to make sure those are all spaced out and then just stick this over them just to stop that shorting on anything it will ruin the look of these in the glass all right so let's try again let's plug it in and it should go straight into its spooky lights there you go so it can't connect to a wi-fi so there's the spooky light so if you look at them they're green and orange so i should be able to open the files now and let's just connect to this again there's one called fire so let's have a look at fire so let's open fire and run that one all right yeah nice effect let's turn the house lights off that looks a bit nicer there you go so that's fire these will look quite cool in a bottle i think 
um, stop that. There's one called Moon. Oh, that's just bright. Whether it will change, I don't know. That's called Moon. Spooky Moon. Ah, they'll get brighter as midnight approaches. That must need to be connected to the Wi-Fi then. Rainbows. Whoops. Stop it. Rainbows. And play that one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. That's great. Lovely. Stop that. Then there's alternative blinkies. I like the sound of that. Let's play that one. A sort of purple and orangey effect. Nice. Is that all of them? There's weather. There's no point about weather. Breakout examples. I'm sure that's not breakout the game. All right. Oh, that's different uh, Different bits. Oh, I can do a thermometer one. A BME module, like on my spider temperature. But OK, so this is quite a clever and quick way of connecting a Pipeco on Wi-Fi to a string of these addressable LEDs. We could have a look at the Pico code and see what each of these are doing, but we'll just leave it for this video, I think. See what else. Tell you what, I'm going to set the Wi-Fi config and see if there's anything else I can do with that. So I'll just clear the screen for a second and we'll do this. OK, so when you're setting the Wi-Fi, there's interesting, there's one of the options. There's like your SID number, which is your Wi-Fi access point name. And then there's the, the password. Well, there's also a country code. That's not a phone country code. That's a code look up for your country. So mine was GB for Great Britain. So uh, just have a look. There's a thing on the website and how you can do that. So now it should connect to the Wi-Fi, but I don't know what, what that will give me. But oh, OK, so... It's connected to the Wi-Fi and it seems to be doing something else now. So it's doing a, oh, it's doing lots of things. So there you go. There's a first um, playing about with this uh, Pimeroni plasma stick. It's a very fast way to start playing about with these addressable lights. Uh, so that's quite cool because that means we can, uh, we can do some really crazy effects with it. I hope you enjoyed this Pico thing. I've not done a peak, anything Pico for a while. Stay tuned for some more. Okay, 